Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing tonight? Uh, I am wonderful. I wanted to jump on here. I'm sorry, my, I'm trying to hold this tablet. I wanted to jump on here and give my review for season, I think it's season six, uh, episode one of 911. Okay, so, uh, you know, when the show first came on, um, Buck, Bobby, Henny, Eddie, and Chimney are walking into like this, where they're walking on the streets and like the cars are abandoned and paper everywhere and it, it looks like maybe they was at the zoo or something. I'm, not, you know, that's what I'm thinking. It was the, it had to be the zoo, and so, um, they're walking, and I think there were like big old birds, um, a tall giraffe. I mean, it was animals, and so you know how they always it they always show a scene and then flash back and say a week earlier. So, um, what happened was, um, let me see. So, yeah, they all started walking in the streets. And like I said, the streets were abandoned. I don't know, even my tablet goes dark. That's crazy. Um, okay, and then the scene goes to, um... The crew playing pool, you know, the crew, which is Bobby, Henny, Chimney, Eddie, Buck. But I noticed someone is missing, guys. Where is Albert? That's uh, Chimney's brother. Where is he this season? Is he no longer on the show? Did they write him off? You know, you know, is it something he needs to do? I mean, what's going on? And then... um. I want to say, okay, so the crew were playing pool, and then they get all get an alert saying, uh, you know, there's been a earthquake, a tsunami. Uh, make sure you guys can see me. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. They all get an alert on their phone saying there's been an earthquake, a tsunami, you know, just different things, and so um, it. You know, so then the scene um, flashes, you know, to the 911 call center and they're taking calls and people are saying they're not trying to call 911 because their phones are just ringing. And so this one lady, uh, she was driving in her car and her GPS was not working properly. So um, her GPS told her to turn left. First, they called 911, didn't tell her to turn left, and she went right into the river. So she's called, she called 911, May is on the phone, and she's telling May, you know, that she's she's going to die. She's in the river, and, you know, May tell her, you know, calm down, and she's telling her what to do, and help is on the way. And, I mean, you know, she explained to her, you know, once the water get a certain, um, uh, level or uh, once the water gets to um once her car settles or whatever in the water water that she will be able to open the door well in the meantime when she get ready to do all of that here come another car and another car and i want to say she got knocked out because i think she got knocked out but then you know buck them jumped in the river and saved her or whatever and so all the cars, you know, well, at first, all the cars were get, were saying, turn left, and, I mean, it was like a pileup going into the river. So, of course, everyone knew it was a problem. So, you know, Buckingham was like, what's going on? And, you know, no one knows what's, going, what's happening. And um, so then um, they were showing where, um, the tower, the air, air control, I want to say air control tower, um, they were talking to, um, 
you know, they were talking to the uh, air traffic control. That's the name of it. Air traffic control. They were talking to the planes because you can see the planes listed on the on the uh, radar. You can see the planes, and then all of a sudden, the uh, planes started deleting off the radar, and so. Um, you know, the guys were bracing themselves because it showed at one point that the planes were, one plane was just about, you know, in coordinates, coordinates, coordinates or whatever with about to hit, hit air traffic control. So they braced themselves. It didn't happen. Um, they called 911 because, you know, well, they saw it didn't happen. And so they was thinking maybe it was a glitch in the system. And so, um, when they realized it wasn't going to happen, Nick, he's one of the air traffic controllers. He had like, um, fell down. He had pain in his left side. So it was like a heart attack maybe. And he fell to the floor. So they called 911. And so Bobby them showed up and, you know, treated him and got him off and running. And then another one hit. <laughs> so Bobby was like, we're going to need another gurney. And then they treated that person and another one went down. And Bobby said, we're going to need more gurneys, you know. Uh, meanwhile, uh, his name is Jeffrey Hudson. He's the guy that beat up Athena. So they were going to court. And so, um, <laughs> So they get to the court and so, um, well, you know, she had been having dreams about him because I thought it was so real. I was like, oh my God, the guy actually got into her house. She had been having dream nightmares about the guy coming to the house and killing her. And it seemed so real, but it was a dream. And so, um, I just want to put a comment in right here. Harry has gotten so big. That's Athena's and Michael's son. And so anyway, they go to, so they're at court, right? They go, actually go to court and he fires his lawyer first day of court. And so, <laughs> which was crazy, but it was, to me, I think it was all a plot. Um, and so he fires his lawyer, whatever, they go have a meeting and he, he said he want to represent himself. So, you know, again, I think it was all just a, a part of his plan, you know? And so, he put Athena on the stand and he brings up her disciplinary actions. And, you know, all the time she have, you know, gotten in trouble or whatever. I mean, he pulled, he pulled it out of his briefcase. He had her whole disciplinary file, you know, and he was asking her about different incidents and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, uh, her phone go off. And so Athena's phone go off and she was like, no, I think it was the judge's phone went off. And I think, uh, she was like, I know I turned this phone off. And then everybody in the courtroom phone started going off. Right. So then they was bringing inmates in because the system had completely, um, shut down or went a, went, uh, haywire. They was bringing, uh, inmates in the court. They wasn't doing court yet. And then, you know, it was like chaos broke out in the courtroom. And next thing you know, Jeffrey Hudson is no longer sitting at the table. He escaped through the people in the hallway standing, you know, by the time they realized he had, you know, he wasn't there. Um, people standing outside and, you know, I guess the elevator wasn't working or whatever because of everything going haywire. So, you know, I think, you know, she tries to go off and pursue him. However, you know, he, he escapes, but you know, he had to escape, you know? And so, um, let's see. So Eddie, um, Anna invites Eddie to her niece's christening. And so he, I think he's having, okay, so he accepted. And so he goes and take Christopher and Christopher has gotten so big guys. He goes and take Christopher and they go to the soup place to get them some suits to wear to the christening. Well, um, the, you know, I guess the guy who, I don't know. What do they call that person? He, he was there to help, um, help them, you know, with the, find the right suit and whatever. And so Eddie was just taking it all in. And I guess he's dealing with 
these feelings that maybe he had bottled up about Christopher's mom because um when they asked him um about when they asked her when they when they mentioned the fact that oh your wife you know um he you know I, I think he became overwhelmed and so th therefore he he kind he had a panic attack but he thought he was having a heart attack so he goes down to the floor and um you know they show him later in the hospital and you know the doctor says oh you didn't have a heart attack it was a panic attack and or uh, whatever, and he was like, I didn't, you know, you sure it wasn't a heart attack? I guess he couldn't, I guess he didn't figure he could have a, a, a panic attack or whatever, or he don't know, the, he don't think the doctor know what she's talking about. And so, um, you know, so he's, I think he was dealing with feelings he hadn't dealt with in a while or either feelings he had bottled up, guys. You know, you you guys can tell me in the comments. I want to say I think it was feelings he bottled up, you know, due to the fact that he didn't have to deal with her no longer. But now, you know, talking about suits and, you know, uh, different people were like, oh, this is, you know, this is your wife and, you know, stuff like that. And I think all of a sudden it, it just become a little too much for him. So, um, Chin, um, you know, Maddie had the baby last season. So, Chin, uh, when Maddie got up, Chin was already feeding the baby. And so, she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I think she's having issues, you know, probably postpartum issues or whatever. Um, as the episodes, you know, continue to go on, we will see, but... Um, yeah, so I think she's having postpartum and Chin is worried, Chimney is worried about her. And so, uh, but guys, where's Albert? Like, where's Albert? You know, he was a big part of last season, you know, well, not a big part, but I mean, he played, you know, he played a, a, a pretty good role. And so anyway, um, so towards the end of nine one one, um, a plane, a helicopter was coming in, and so the a nurse went up up to the top of the hospital to guide them, you know, guide the helicopter down. Um, but then, um, I think it actually showed that the lights went out again because the lights were were going out. So, um. I think that was everything that happened in episode one. And I will come back for episode two. So, again, guys, this is my first day back. So, cut me some slack. I want to say, I took notes, but then my phone started acting a monkey, you know. Um, I'm going to have to get me a camera and stuff like that. But, guys, I'm asking that you uh, bear with me. Uh, this is my first day back. I missed you guys, and I want to do this reviewing thing. I want to I want to build my YouTube channel, and guys, I want to have fun, and I want you know my sons to be a part of it of this ride, and we're gonna have a great time. And I just ask that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Even if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. But uh, I'm asking that you know you guys can give me. In the comments, you can put down what kind of content you would like to see. Again, we're going to do mukbangs. We're going to do, we're going to vlog. We're going to just, we're going to have story time. We're going to have some fun on this channel. Again, this is Sunshine Buchanan 2.0 rebooted. Um, you know, I've been on a hiatus. I'm back. I'm going to come back in the, in a few minutes with uh, episode two of uh, 911. See, it'll go dark and come back. It's crazy. And also, uh, guys, are you all watching The Mask Singer? OMG. You got to be watching The Mask Singer. And uh, so I'll come back in a few minutes with some more information, with, with some more reviews. And I just ask you like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.